Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Ascent Creed Valhalla video. So, Tombs of the Fallen trophies has been added into the game at least on PS4. I can see them and I will share my screenshots of them in a moment. But that is the question of today what they are for. Or what they are actually. And the first question is are they related in any way to the Master Challenges? Or are they related to this location near Ravenstorp where we did find the Odin's Eye? So if you have any opinions about this, please let me know and share your thoughts in the comments down below. So whatever these are, we are gonna find out in few days, 9th of November of 2021. As we can see on the roadmap, we are getting the big update, title update. 1.4.0 with the Tombs of the Fallen content that will be free and followed by Oscorea Festival in couple days after that. And quick shout out to Darkstrider, very good friend of the channel and very good friend of mine who already did do a video about this. I will leave his channel link in the description box down below so be sure to check him out. But now, let's take a look of the trophies. The first trophy will be Spelunker and for that we need to complete one of the Tombs of the Fallen and for Cryptologist we need to complete three of the Tombs. So, do this have anything to do with Odin's Eye like we see in here? Good. I will let you know when I have unlocked its secrets. Because that is very strange thing to say from Hilderan. And if anybody remembers this location near Venonis, Darkstrider and me, we both did a video about this. And yeah, probably Master Excellence 2.0 is coming. So for me, three shrines, three tomb locations. We have already seen Master Excellences in outposts and even mines. So why not tombs? So three shrines three tombs i really think it's gonna be this one but to be fair take this with grain of salt and let me know again in the comments down below what are your opinions what are those tombs for or are they related to cassandra from ascent creed Odysseus? or well yeah this can actually be like anything so i am really open-minded about this but the fact that we have Trophies for this is really really awesome. And because we have trophies like last time with the master challenges, yeah, these can be really big and very awesome. Oh yeah, and if anybody do remember these skeletons around England, one was in Brentwood outpost in the well. Could these be related to the tombs of the fallen? Like the master challenge shrines. Also these skeletons were removed, so if you go in the Brentwood outpost inside the well, you won't be able to see this. And three other skeletons were located in Perry, in Oxenfordshire. So let's take a look of those, shall we? From this fast travel point, the Perry location is to the left. And under the map we did see three the same icons we did see in Brentwood and using Smart Glitch Gaming's tactic of using the fish hook we can actually glitch inside or under the map and here we can zoom in and yeah three skeletons with the white clothes that had the like white triangle marks above them. So could these be related to the tombs? Maybe, maybe. Or are the tombs of the fallen one completely different? But one thing I don't think is related to the tombs are the fireflies, but hey, I have been wrong before with my guess. But yeah, it's highly unlikely that the fireflies has anything to do with the tombs of the fallen one but we will see in a few days but i really think 
the fireflies has a purpose we don't know what yet but what's the point of adding like 200 of these into the game if we only need one so i will definitely keep you updated with the fireflies when we know more but let's move on to the tombs so could they be related to the odin runes that we see here we have six in england i will leave a video card on top of the right screen right now if you want to see every location and yeah behind every odin rune there is a cave some you might access without doing pretty much anything and for some you need to use smart glitch gaming's fishhook tactic and i will leave his channel link in the description box down below and also we have three of odin runes located in ireland so in wrath of the druids dlc so there we have it again so three tombs three caves in ireland so yeah i am really stuck in with the tree number three But let's wrap this up and yeah, for me, I think the most likely connection would be the Master Challenge 2.0 or the Odin's Eye. So, who knows, is there more for the Odin's Eye than just the Master Challenges? But yeah, one option that I didn't say, it has nothing to do with anything, said before, shown before, so there is also that one. But yeah, I am still sticking with the Master Challenges slash Odin's Eye or with the Odin runes, possibly. But for now, thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications if you did enjoy, if you want to see more. Also, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you again, Vikings. And like always, Skatha, over and out, and bye bye. You have seen what was needed. I have more than enough. <laughs>